What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, L. Shade Duke Jackson, with a special episode of the Dusty Negro News Network. And you know, the other day, I'm back on Facebook again, right? I'm in my boy Aaron Ferris's group. Black Men's Travel Group is right here. I don't know if I'm saying it all the way right. But I saw a video from a sister that was speaking up on the behalf of brothers. And man, you will not believe what she said. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to really look at this. And she was talking about how sisters will be dealing with her brother. And then once they get done with him, they're going trashing in front of everybody else, lying on him. But the brother ain't really that way. And we know that be happening, just tarnishing her brother's good reputation. But don't listen to me. We gonna let her tell it, and then we gonna add our commentary to her. So sit back, relax, let's get into the news. So before I start the video, let me give a big shout out to this group, Black Men Travels. And this is operated by my boy, Aaron Ferris. They got a lot of good stuff going in for brothers over there that do the travel thing, international. And it's on Facebook, so try to request to join it. I'll put the link in the description. And the thing about this group, it's not like very big, but it's very active and they have a lot of good topics and a lot of good discussions and they share a lot of good videos. Well, the other day when I was in there, I saw a video of this sister who you're about to hear from in a minute. And the sister was talking about how women pretty much act when they break up with a guy. And we, we're pretty much knowing what it is. It's a black man, right? So she breaks up with this guy. The relationship has, you know, ended. And she goes around telling people about all the bad things that he did in the relationship. So the friends, you know, they don't know no better. They basically take her side of the story. And then they go around bashing the brother, telling all his business and all of that, trashing his name, telling other people don't date him, you know, don't fool with him. He's shady. He's dirty. But the sister was talking about that she saw a situation in which she had to intervene on behalf of a black man simply because what sisters were saying about this particular brother that she knew was not even true, right? And so shout out to her because I believe this is important. Um, but I'm gonna let her tell you the story herself. So let's go ahead, Dean. We're gonna go ahead and play that clip and let you hear it for yourself, brothers. You know what's so crazy to me? Let me tell y'all something. It's crazy how toxic women will sit up and talk about their men or talk about their ex to their girlfriends. Then their girlfriends go and start telling other people about this man. Oh, he did this to my friend. He's this way. He's a dog. Don't date him. He What? Let me tell y'all something. A lot of it don't even be true, though. I just witnessed a situation for myself. I had to intervene in the conversation and tell them that man ain't even like that. Oh, well, my friend told me. Your friend told you she was dating him and that's how her dude was. I said, did your friend tell you how she was in a relationship? Did she tell you how she was talking to him, grimy, all types of stuff? I said, I got screenshots. I got screenshots. I got videos where he was videoing her. Let me tell you something. Sometimes we got to go ahead and mind our own business. Real rap. Cause sometimes we be, we be in situations and we don't even know the whole story. We don't know what, what really happened. We don't know nothing. We know secondhand information. So basically your friend going to tell you how her dude was to her. So she don't have to take responsibility of the way that she was to him. But let's go a little bit deeper. Cause a lot of y'all know that your friends be doing a man dirty. And y'all never speak up about it. Y'all never say nothing about it. But you have so much to say when somebody inquires about him or his name come up. Oh, you got a lot to say. Oh, you about to run his name in the dirt for your friend. 
But are you really doing anybody any justice when you didn't pull your friend to the side and tell your friend you need to treat your man better? You need to talk to your man better. Or why are you talking to your man like that? Or now nah, says you was in a relationship messing up too. You wasn't treating him right. Do y'all ever do that? Or y'all just comfortable going around town dragging his name through the dirt because of the secondhand information your friend told you? I'm out on that note. Wow. So you guys heard that, right? And shout out to her for being honest about what actually happens with a lot of black men who end up in a bad relationship or end up in a relationship where things go sour or things go a little soft. Let me talk about this. In relationships, there's always two sides of the story and then there's the truth. And any brother that's ever been on a date with somebody, specifically a you know black woman, when you ask her this question, you know, so you know, why are you single? You know, she's pretty much gonna pretty much talk about, well, I had a bad relationship, and you you, you follow up with that question, well, well, you know, why did it end? She's going to tell you all the things that this guy did. He was abusive, he cheated on me. He did this to me. He did that to me. He did all of this to me. And you start lightweight feeling sorry for her. Like, man, you know, cause she might look good, man. She's beautiful. Like, man, how did this happen? You know? And, um, and she always puts the blame on the guy. It isn't until you get with her in that relationship and you find out that, man, this chick got a lot of flaws. She's abusive. She talks back. She gets drunk. She can't hold her liquor. You know, she be peeing on herself when she get drunk. She breaks stuff. She don't spend money. She lose things. She got a bad attitude sometimes. She's crazy. You know, all of these things that you didn't know that she was like that while you was with her. But then when y'all break up, she gonna go and tell everybody all the things that you did. So pretty much. You know, she'll go around scandalizing your name. And not only will she do that, she'll go out and get her friends to scandalize your name. And a lot of brothers have this propaganda, unfortunately, in their life, man. I mean, it's sad uh, to be honest, but a lot of brothers get a bad rap. People, uh, you know, say bad things about them. And, you know, brothers don't might not even get opportunities. People don't know, man, when you have a bad reputation, it affects everything. It affects your ability to date. It affects your, uh, affect your ability to get a job. It might affect your ability to get a network because somebody has ruined your reputation. But at the same time, while that person is ruining your reputation, you know, uh, they're not telling what they're doing. She won't be telling about how she's disrespectful. She won't be telling how she's ruthless. She won't be telling how she's texting other dudes. You caught her cheating on you. You know what I'm saying? She doing all of this and that. She's not going to tell that part. You know what I mean? She's only going to tell your part and she's not being honest with it. And then, you know, and if people who might know you, they'll come to your defense like, yo, man, he's not like that. What are you talking about? You know, and nobody's perfect, but. You know, these things happen to black men. It's unfortunate that brothers get a bad rap, but I'm just so glad that a sister saw it and was able to speak on this. And this is the reason why I always tell brother brothers, you know, start taking the brother side of the story. You know, because if you hear from a, a, a woman, it could or cannot be true. But I, I, mean, I can honestly tell you this. Um, that brother will have a different side of the story that she's not going to tell. So I always will take a brother side of the story. And it is good that somebody actually was willing to tell the truth about the situation. So shout out to the sister. Really, really appreciate it and everything like that. And again, shout out to Black Men's Travels. Uh, awesome group. You know what I'm saying? I get a lot of good content from there. And guys, uh, before we you know head on out, make sure that you subscribe and like, hit the bell. Don't forget to get all my contact information pinned to the first comment at the top. You know, I got to go ahead and promote my black men are perfect t-shirts. And like I said, this is propaganda. You need to go ahead and get you one because people are always going around talking about how black men are not perfect, how black men are this or that and lying on brothers. This is a good way to go ahead and put your own propaganda out there, man. Support the movement. And uh, guys, I really appreciate you. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all time high. I'm out. Bruh, you heard it from her first. Like I said, man, check that out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. 
Also, don't forget to make sure you subscribe at the bell. You know, all my contact information is pinned to the top. Check me out. You know I gotta go ahead and give my little swerve on and my little uh, advertising on the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. You know you gotta wear these. Propaganda as a mug, we pushing our own agenda. 2020, yes, Black Men Are Perfect. Don't be hating. You know what I'm saying? That's how we living. Go to the first comment pinned to the top of the Negro Metals for store on Teespring. Get you one that's supporting our platform. It helps us do more videos, it helps us grow. Thank you so much. And if you got any news, make sure that you email me, planetoshea at gmail.com. And man, as you know, the buffoonery man is at an all-time high. We out.